Mane vana se ma Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV die o se dem yopo. You are once again welcome to Pen Dream TV, the only channel that brings you the best and latest updates in politics. If you are new here, I'll urge you to subscribe to the channel for us. Hit the notification bell, like and also share to other members to watch as well. Do share to all your contact list for us. Thank you. You can equally leave a comment at the comment section button or send us a voice note on our WhatsApp number which is 0277-128777. Thank you. I'd like you to join me listening to what Beatrice Annan has to say about Baumia. Hey, the woman is really a woman of his words and choice. I really love this lady. And without much I do, not being selfish, I'd like you to join me listening to what she said in detail about Baumia. This time he, she has finished Baumia. Flat tie, flat tie. You'll be right back. Join me. It's all right. Uh, I'm just that's okay. Oh, sorry. I'm going to do that right don't, now. Really. Don't, don't, don't be, no, don't no, be black built. Don't be pressured at all. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not. Especially if it's on Twitter, I'm not. So yeah, Twitter is a landmine. It's a landmine. Well, I'm learning to navigate my way around Twitter, even yeah, though I'm gaining a, a lot of followers. So pardon yes, me. Yes, yes. We the not lawyers. We, we I'll we shoot. Fear. I'll shoot Beatrice a message, um, on the socials. But I, I of course, because of the job, I follow. Mm a lot of uh, the actors in right. this space um, yeah unless Beatrice doesn't cough then mm. the comments he she's with the Mahama campaign she wants John Mahama to be president of the republic again Beatrice welcome thank you for your time Thank you, Johnny. As always, it's good to be here. And I don't normally do radio. Mm. So when I do radio, I'm happy about it. And it's, it's good to be here. Thank you. What kind of a person is Beatrice? Oh, Johnny, I, I, I was wishing today would not be around <laughs> me. But, but Beatrice is just an ordinary person. Mm. I, I don't think that I possess any special quality mm. than mm. any other Ghanaian. I just believe in mm. one thing and I pursue it. I'm mm. just that person that until I achieve a goal, I don't rest. So right. apart from being a workaholic, I think I, I, I like everything. Right. I, I just don't like the fact that I'm right. a workaholic. Right. But <laughs> aside that, I, I you like want soft life. Yeah, yeah. I wish sometimes <laughs> I wish I could take it cool on myself so right. that even if there is no work, I can sleep. But mm. I won't sleep. I'll find another work to do. Right. But apart from that, I think that I have a strong conviction. I remember that it took me seven years to mm -hmm. come out openly to speak for the NDC. Right. And I, I am so fortified that I made the right decision if I look at the direction in which our country is going. Mm -hmm. And also because they've silenced many voices. And sometimes when you speak, they send the army after you to come right. and attack right. you to insult you but i have a skin tougher than really it, it does nothing to me <laughs> i'm a guy no, i don't I, touch I, her I, <laughs> leave it for us you know i'm Helen a guy I enjoy i'm, watching with I'm a guy i i grew up in guy like a guy community right. so when you insult me mm. it does nothing to me and if that's all the price you have to pay mm. for speaking up and speaking your mind i think that is is a small price to pay right. for women is one insult mm. and so when you overcome that insult then you are good to go mm. and FM. and it's not, not just because i speak for the ndc i think that we have to have a politics where we will hold people accountable right. if there is one thing the man i speak for which is john mahama is noted for mm. is his ability to tolerate people who have been described as his worst critics right. sometimes we are not even happy mm. he's speaking to them because mm. we feel this person used very unprintable words right. and all that but he has a bigger heart and i think that's what leadership is about mm. that is missing in our country today you cannot say the government is corrupt mm. in the face of a data that shows that this is the most corrupt government mm. you cannot say that our democratic gains have dwindled down mm -hmm. even though the data shows it government's own data right and then when you say it and you're a journalist you are likely to face what Ahmed Swali or Kaka faced. God forbid. Yeah, and, and that's why a lot of people, and I have a lot of friends 
in the media. Mm. They are not NDC, they are not MPP, mm. but like every morning show, they want to fact check. Like when I came, I heard you people speak about the free, free SHS, SHS numbers, right. where government's own data shows that you've done 3.1 million. Right. And then you're using 5 million for adverts, mm. playing on the sentimentality of it. Many media houses cannot speak about it because mm. they are afraid mm. either of being branded NDC because you are calling government out mm -hmm. or they simply will just insult you if you're a woman mm -hmm. they will simply say that oh we know this girl is sleeping with someone they did right. that to bridget o2 right she's never been to london mm -hmm. but presidential staff has said they saw her in london <laughs> being promiscuous and yet this is a person who has never been to london right and so if you don't want your spirit to be down or i mean your reputation to be damaged you keep mm -hmm. quiet about some of these things mm -hmm. but i want to tell us that we cannot have a democracy where we don't have strong voices. Mm. Why, why is it that when Beatrice tweets something or <laughs> types something on Facebook or says something on TV or radio, it catches fire? What, is, what, what do you put inside it? I, I don't think it catches fire. I think that... Everybody keeps talking about it. They no, keep asking you questions. <laughs> hey, Beatrice, I'm a hey, No, no, hey, no, no, hey. no. I don't think it catches fire. I think that will be exaggerating mm. my importance. I think that I speak the language of many young people. Mm. I'm 34 years. Right. I've had a lot of support systems. Mm. I've had a lot of privileges. Right. If I were in America, I probably would say I'm a white Me woman F because F you would have been a privileged woman and even in my privileges mm -hmm. i see my struggles right and so i can just imagine the people who do not have access to the privileges i have mm. i i have friends I went to school with who would always call you for money, mm. not money to buy a car. Right. They want money to buy food for their babies. Mm. They want money because they, 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 their car battery got spoiled and it's 700 and they cannot pay. Right. And these were people that some were even more intelligent than me. Right. And so if we live in the system where it's not based on meritocracy, mm -hmm. you have to speak the language of the people. And because I speak maybe the social media language mm. or i speak about the plights of many people it just happened to be that you you, you speak my mind mm -hmm. because there are many people who want to say something they, and right. they can't say right. and when we are coming on air they, they send us be can you say this mm. be i work in this organization and this is happening can you can you speak about it so right. we just happen to voice what people want to a say but, of the ordinary but they don't Ghanaian. want to say but i don't think that it's because it catches fire and when you speak in a certain way mm -hmm. and you capture the mood and sentiments of people mm. they they would accept what you say because then that is the truth for, for you as a woman who is also a politician you are an accomplished lawyer people respect your voice and look at you for other women what motivation is there for them to get into politics when you first decided that okay this is what i want to do beyond my law practice what motivation is there i think what many people didn't know is that i was a politician mm. from the age of 18 years tell me about it yeah like i i think that just because i came on tv everybody yes. made it look like no. oh you just oh, came something this, years ago she's no. new to the craft no 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 i've been i've been so political from mm. the age of 18 okay. years in fact even before 18 because that was when i started discovering my political consciousness right and so even on knust campus i occupied a number of political positions right i was speaker of src parliamentary council right. i was majority leader of student parliament right. i was the Chief Justice right. of the University Student Association. Right. The and then I, I was a teen, and I was even an NDC communicator so back on campus. Okay. You know, but I, I had to take a break from politics and build a career right. and build a family mm. and come back when I felt it was the right time because I've been there before mm. and I know the challenges women face right. if they came to do politics mm. with just first degree right. or just just because they want to do politics so right. i wanted to build capacity mm. before i come onto the scene and that's exactly 
what I did. So I've been around for some time. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm not new at all. <laughs> so those who know me. It looks me like know, you're new. No, I guess it feels like I'm new because then everybody woke up one morning and there was this girl yes. who would not make Who would not let anybody sleep. And would, would say, say the way the straight, straight, straight. And, and that's my upbringing. Mm. I, I don't know why I should. You're stealing my resources. Mm. You're depriving mothers of the ability to have the right to life because you don't build hospitals. And we we are going through hardship. And you say that we have to use euphemism Mm -hmm. to express our hardship. And you are not euphemistic about the corruption. Mm -hmm. And you are not trying to steal in a metaphorical way. You're stealing literally. Mm -hmm. And then you expect us to use metaphors and euphemism to express. I I don't believe in that. I don't believe you should insult. But I believe that you need to communicate the mood, Mm. the passion, the anger. You have been doing some advocacy about against um dr bonaventure <laughs> and look at look, look at how long it took you He's and yesterday home. i saw a news outlet that right. you can imagine if you said it once twice right. it, it would not look like it will work and sometimes he didn't respect the president yeah, yeah i mean <laughs> sometimes it looked like it can be boring and sometimes it feels like, what exactly does Johnny have mm. against this man? Right. But today, I, I saw a video of people saying they thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. How on earth were these guys supposed to reach a radio station mm. to talk about this person right. who was more like a tyrant mm. in the organization? Mm. And I'm sure people may call you names. I'm oh, sure people I have may gone have vilified it. you. I have felt it. Helen Carr has gone through some. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, so today mm. you have made an impact. And you see, you cannot, you cannot fight on the battlefield and not come back with a scar. Right. And so there has to be a scar. Mm. Bishis is that girl and they'll give you all the tag. Right. And and everybody who has led advocacy has been the given a name. And when you're a woman, they are more intolerant. Mm. There are things that they will accept FM. because men said it. Mm-hmm. I mean, men can say certain things and get away. When you're a woman and you say, it means you're very disrespectful. And I, I see some of the comments, nobody will marry you. But you're already married. But they don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they don't know that, you know. And even sometimes, I'm sure my husband's friends will call him and say, but this girl, how do you control it? How do you, you, know? how do you handle it at home? Yeah, my husband has a touch of foreign, like, so he doesn't yeah. do this. Your local, African. Your local stuff. Your African, I'm a man, I'm a woman. No, 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 no. My no. house. He ain't going to do no, that. My, my, my husband. And it was a rule that you had to have a foreign touch before right. I'll marry you. Right. Oh, you had yeah. respect. Yeah, yeah, because it, it gives you a certain level of exposure to to know that it's okay mm. for your wife to leave home at dawn and come to TV right. and there will be no friction at home. Right. I, I, I mean, when my mommy comes to visit me and we are talking, when my husband says we are hungry, he's mm. the first to suggest a restaurant because he knows that nobody has the time no, to no, cook. No, 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 I hold and, you. Aha, we'll but you know, time. <laughs> half of the men will say they don't even want a day old food no, and all no, that. No, so no. the challenge is... We have of, to read. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and prepare <laughs> brief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slow and, down. And normally I recommend a certain book, Lean In, to every career woman before right. you marry. Right. As it's called what? Lean In yes, by Yes, by Cheryl Sambeck. Okay. She's the CEO of Facebook. Right. And Helen. Before you yeah, go, yeah, yeah, it, it's, 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 it. it's a must that recommended mm. read so that it gives you perspective about if you're a strong woman mm. and some of the decisions and some of the hard conversations you mm. must have. Mm. But the point is that whether you are a woman or you are a man, mm. when the economy is bad, it affects you, right. and it affects women even more. Right. Johnny, I keep saying that husbands are really suffering in this economy, mm-hmm. and. The ripple effect is that even wives and baby mamas and sisters will suffer more because when I don't have money, I'll be so embarrassed to come and ask Ellen for money. Right. Because then I'm afraid, what will she say? Will she mm-hmm. question mm-hmm. my husband's mm-hmm. ability to mm-hmm. take care of me? And probably she'll go and tell another friend and all. But you know, the guys have a way of saying, morning. Charlie, today I don't get anything. Yeah, Charlie, Make sort me out. Sort me out. Now, Charlie, me say, I get like 50 Ghana. If he give you 30 Ghana. Yeah. And for some reasons, it, it's no news. That's right. When a guy says, Charlie, could you call me say, you no know, get money? Make we organize something, give him. Right. Like, right. Brother guys, code. 
brother cold, mm. you know, all, all the years <laughs> for the bad thing. <laughs> oh, but women, make you. <laughs> but women and children suffer so much. Right. And when we talk about the hardship mm. in this economy going into these elections, it's not just an MPP NDC issue. Right. Like I say, maybe I'm privileged. <laughs> But I remember my iPhone 12 Pro Max was bought for me by a friend who is an engineer. Right. I mean, he called me a number of times. I didn't pick. So to give him an excuse, I said my phone was giving me an issue. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, he just sent me a phone. Two weeks ago, mm -hmm. I was there and this friend kept checking up on me like every morning. And it was a bit weird because we hardly talk. Right. Only for him to come and ask me. For thousand cities, oh, after three days of constantly checking up with on me, because the kids have not been able to go to school. He was down. He was down. This was someone who bought me the iPhone 12. Oh, one I didn't even ask for. This okay. is someone who had a growing. I mean, you, you, these guys speak in dollars. Right. And now so, he wanted so a thousand dollars. you're speaking Ghana to cities. him, and you say, "Oh, the hundred thousand, and you say, "Okay, so in dollars." Because of how they do their work. Right. And he wanted thousand cities. Why? Not thousand dollars. No, thousand cities. To survive. Yes, because that we and I felt so devastated mm. because then it made sense that he was checking up on me like every morning, mm. like he wanted to ask, but he didn't have the courage. Right. And I could never contemplate that he will ask me for money. Mm. Because he bought you a phone when you didn't ask for it. So I didn't ask for it. The, the next day, I, I was there and a dispatch rider called me that they said they should bring me a phone. And later, he called me, have you received the phone? And I even laughed over it. So this was someone, why? Because he lost his savings through the banking sector cleanup. Ah. And his own was even like double jeopardy. Mm. When he lost the savings through the banking sector cleanup, he was told that whatever monies will be given to him mm. will be given to him as the bond. Right. Zero coupon. The zero coupon. Mm. So he got the bond. And when it was time for them to pay, and then the haircuts came. Three the DDEP. The DDEP. Oh. Then his... But the president said there will be no haircuts. Exactly. Was so there haircuts? Where are the haircuts? There were haircuts, and they are still haircuts. Yesterday, I was on your sister station, Onia mm -hmm. FM, and a woman had come and needed 100000 for a surgery mm -hmm. because the child was suffering from leukemia. By reason of the exchange rate depreciation, mm -hmm. what would have been 400,000 is now 1.7 million. Mm. The hospitals have not increased their prices. It's the exchange rate. It's the exactly. exchange rate. And so even though they said they had raised about 100 and something mm. thousand from 1.7 million, it mm. means nothing. And Johnny, when we speak about this, we ought to talk about this, whether it is MPP or NDC mm. in power, mm. because it has a direct effect on our yeah. lives, yeah. our livelihoods, our families, our young people. Johnny, it is an eyesore that unemployment will move from 8%, mm. which we arguably was not even good, to 14.7 percent mm. with over 1.7 million people being multi-dimensionally poor helen stagler be yeah. you know when someone is multi-dimensionally poor we are not looking at whether they have money to buy food mm. we are saying poor. that when we take every aspect mm. of your life you cannot be described as someone who is okay. Mm. And even despite that statistics, we are being told that 850,000 people mm -hmm. who were not poor, who were okay, mm. have been pushed down the poverty line mm -hmm. because of the bad policies of this government. Tell me why anybody should keep such a government in power for 12 years, irrespective of whether you are MPP or so, NPC. So you are against breaking the eight? We must all be against that breaking the eight. Why? I'm just giving you an example. You give See, me two let me, examples, let, but, but why? Me, I, you, what do you have against the MPP? I don't have anything against the MPP. The MPP has not demonstrated that they love Ghana. Johnny, let me give you a typical example. Mm -hmm. 
This presidency has been occupied by President Rawlings, President Kufo, mm. President Mills, President Mahama. Mm. So in the Fourth Republic, this MPP government is not the first government for us to use as a benchmark. Mm. And every government has had its excesses. But we are at a level where we have never seen before. Mm. These are not excesses. These are calculated attempts mm. to hoodwink this nation, mm -hmm. make people so poor, the best in the make the MPPP so rich, so that every election will be decided on the basis of who can pay more. So it is in their interest that food inflation is so high in 2022, food inflation was more than 55%. Right. Food inflation, your ability to purchase food. And so you are so hungry that mm -hmm. when a political party brings you 500 CDs, mm -hmm. you can see yourself in one week buying some decent meal to eat. Right. And so nothing matters to you again mm -hmm. than the meal you see in the next one week. Mm -hmm. Coming from where you are coming from in hunger. Mm -hmm. And so if you have a psychology of a party that increases office of government expenditure from a little over 700 million to in excess of 2.5 billion, almost 3 billion in some of the years, then you begin to ask, is everything right with us? Mm -hmm. I wanted to just chip this in because we were talking about stats and Afrobarometers round 10 survey. Mm -hmm indicates that in the past 12 months, 8 in 10 Ghanaians, that's 82%, mm -hmm. have experienced some degree of poverty. So nearly, pretty much all of us, mm. in this year alone, yes. would have experienced some degree of poverty. <sighs> Beatrice, you know, yeah, go And ahead. they went a day without food. They were not fasting. They are not Muslims. It's against their will. It's, it's, but that they, they wanted to eat, and, but they, and, and they Johnny, couldn't afford food to eat. Those of us who eat. are in the public space, right. people don't know us mm. on a personal basis. But by reason of maybe you are on a WhatsApp mm. page or they meet you and they say they want your number, when you wake up in the morning, the messages you receive from people who need 100 CDs. Mm. Do you know the, the main gate at TV3? Yes. Okay. Do you know how many people <laughs> come through it to ask me for Yes. Money? Every day. Because they assume Hospital that bills, because you, school fees. you are on air and you speak, my salary you, probably has are, not changed. You, you probably are looking nice, you know. But so my salary has not changed. Be, no, but they compare the, themselves to you, that at least you were able to pick a car. Sometimes people will say, oh, they mm. need this. And even for them to come and pick, you have to bear their transportation costs. They need it urgently too. Even Yes, it's, <laughs> it's always urgent. You know, we live in a country where, you know, in the past, when people are complaining, you see government's response. Right. You see that either government is holding a cabinet meeting mm. or there is what in NDC we call the Senchi consensus right. or President Kufo saying that I'm going on a retreat mm. with ministers or um, you see a minister mm. traveling somewhere to see, you know, there is this attempt to salvage the situation. So you don't like the government does it to Sisyphian? They, they don't even appreciate the nuances. You see, Dr. Baromiat says that it is better for the exchange rate to be one dollar to 17 cities than one dollar to four cities. I, I, How? I don't understand. He said they've done better on the economy. That's right. So that is what he's implying. It is better for the unemployment rate to be 14% than 8%. It is better for inflation mm. to move from 54% at a point to 22 than 15%. So how do you expect this person, first of all, to appreciate there is a crisis? For which reason we need to call for a meeting mm. so that we can solve it. That it is okay that we've not been able to build a single hospital in eight years. And when I talk about hospital, I say that so passionately with everything in me because my sister was born at the Labadi Clinic. Right. But for the Labadi Clinic, because we stay in Lua, La Poly Clinic. Right. La, it's actually the La General Hospital. Yes, yes, La, La, yes the, the yeah. La General Hospital. Well, it used to be Poly Clinic, but upgraded La, to La, La General, General Hospital. Hospital. Right. So we stayed in Nungwa. Mm. So my mother said when she had, had the, labor. she was in labor, mm. it was the nearest hospital. And it says the people of Teshin, mm -hmm. Nungwa, Osu, Labadi. Mm. And, but for that hospital, mm -hmm. I will probably not have a sister. 
My sister, in recent times, also developed something and had surgery at Ridge. Okay. That's a Cry Regional Hospital. Accra Regional Hospital. The, the refurbished one. Yes. Mm. So you can imagine if there was no La General Hospital, she would not even have had her life. Mm. If somebody had not b- built the Ridge Hospital, mm. UGMC, when the ministers in this government had COVID, they, they, they were so embarrassed that they could not even admit they were going to the hospital. Mm. They had to say they had to go for leave. They Who takes a leave? Who rests in the so hospital? Quite you said it was yes, it what do you have you, against rest? No, it tells you about who, which same person goes to the hospital to rest. Then the minister should... In, in fact, it is even worse because when sick people don't get access to bed, mm. you leave your home to go and rest in the hospital. It tells you the psychology of the people who were in charge of health. And this government having access to 21 billion do- cities because we had COVID does not have a single hospital in memory of the COVID that took the lives of people today. They are running adverts, playing worship songs in the background, and um, getting people to be emotional because of COVID. And yet those emotions could not compel you we had to rely on the Maritime Hospital, the Bank of Ghana Hospital, the Guy East Hospital, mm. the Dodowa Hospital, the Rich Hospital, the UGMC. Those were the hospitals that saved us because the NDC did. But, those but you hospitals. have applications, you have apps. A lot of a COVID apps. COVID it looks like Johnny, you want to make me angry. No, I'm not. I mean, I'm just telling you what the government says they have done for you. You don't seem to see anything the government has done. Do you know the number of people who have built apps? I don't know. But the and government says people have be- Dr. No Digital serious, has built apps you, for you. No serious government mm. built apps. And you know the apps they are even talking about? It's not even apps built by government. Mm. They are apps which have been built by private organizations. So for instance, when they tell you that we have digitalized ECG, mm-hmm. the contract is for Haptel. The Haptel we are told by Omiya is behind. So it's not as if government of Ghana has taken the initiative to build. So we are rather creating jobs for their cronies that today when you buy ECG, a percentage goes to a company called Haptel that Baumia is a beneficiary of. Mm. So where is the digitalization? The MPP, you know what they are doing? They are no. gaslighting. Their consultants have told them mm-hmm. that keep repeating the lie so much. No matter how you are fact checked, repeated with mm-hmm. time, mm-hmm. people may think it is true. Or not that's every a, that's a Joseph Goebbels person. Yes, and or not everybody will be privy to the truth. Mm-hmm. So you keep telling the lies because the lies will travel faster than the truth. Otherwise, in an election year mm-hmm. where this government wants to have 12 years what they have to be doing is to be showing us their successes but you see you saw the statue didn't you see the statue the statue is their success didn't you see you have seen other things you know as for the statue i don't even the want to talk about it. the only thing that is nicer about the statue is that it's taller than Nanado. Please, so please, that please. one is very nice. I mean, uh, so that one, the sculpture did very well, you know, to, to not reduce it to its height. Mm. And I'm sure that Five even because of the height, that's why they finished the statute. Because in the Western region, mm-hmm. the only completed project is that statute. It's an eyesore that the Ephian Quanta Hospital mm-hmm. has not received an upgrade. President Mahama invested $247 million in medical replacement. Mm. At the time he was doing all these, and he was on the mission of building a 6,000-bed hospital across the, 16, um, the 10 regions then. You know what Dr. Baumia said? No. He said, given the resources at the disposal of the NDC government, we will build a Dubai medical city. What do you have against that? Where is it? What were the resources at the disposal of the NDC? That from Nkrumah's time to President Mohammed's time, mm-hmm. the national debt was 120 billion. Assuming even all the 120 billion was borrowed by the NDC. That was the resources at the disposal of the government. At the time when I've mentioned to you the monumental achievement in the area of health alone, mm-hmm. today you have zilch hospital to show for. Zilch, zero. But government is building Agenda 111. Where? They say by the end of the month, some will be launched, some true. will be commissioned. 
now they, they you, you know, when you commission, you know this, your building right. can be converted into a hospital. Right. And it can be converted into a studio. Right. So when you build a building and you leave, mm -hmm. is that a hospital? There's nothing in there. Is you, that that's what you're saying. If you are committed to building hospitals mm -hmm. and you really wanted to enjoy or the people to enjoy, mm -hmm. why don't you build 10? Finish. Or even if it was 20 mm -hmm. and you're able to finish 10 mm -hmm. and 10 was still under, then we know that you intended that people should indeed have access to hospital. Mm -hmm. What government wanted to do was to give communication or communicators speaking points. Mm -hmm. When they come on your show, they should we be able to say, oh, we are building like a one, one, one. Look at Pualugu. Pay $12 million so that it will be like, oh, we are constructing Pualugu Dam. But that was for the consultant to do... Uh, but that is, it, it is a speaking point. So where is the consultant? How is it that mm. a government invests 932 million cities mm -hmm. in digging a hole, $58 million? Ah, are you talking about the National Cathedral? Yes. It's a matter of priority. It's a priority of priorities. So where is it? But it's, we are building it. Can't where? You see it? Where? Can't you see it? The fish pond. It's not a face point. When I see sarcasm, I detect one. You are being sarcastic. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm you saying know, the president... Johnny, the situation... He says we will see, build the National Johnny, Cathedral the to honor God. The situation we are in eh, mm -hmm. is not NDC MPP. You know, sometimes when you read the Japadia document, mm. you would know that this government is on a mission to enrich family and like friends. The, the president said it's fake. He doesn't, if you, if you would he, if support it, would he have you the, hate would, them. Would he... The Ocheng Hini said same. Would he admit us? So it's very prophetic. Mm. If it's fake, everything. You see, this president, and you know, Baumia will be worse than Nanado. Oh, how? See, this president believes in family and friends. He has not... I mean, hidden it. He has given the daughter a $34 million contract. Mm. The missing fool at Bost, the daughter was the one behind Moving it. Moving Pina. Moving Pina. That name was, the daughter was at Moving Pick. She's mm. called Edwina. So Moving Pick and Edwina came Moving Pina. Ah, I see. That's how the name was formed. They, mm. they met at Moving Pick. So I Moving see. Pick and Edwina, Moving Pina. Whoa. That's how it was formed. Hmm. So that is how they shared the state's resources. But the danger is even in Baumier's fake humility that he's giving to Ghanaians. Hmm. Do you know that Dr. Baumier, even as vice president, mm -hmm. when he told us that he was not given the room to operate, that he was he is not responsible for any of the mess, that as for him, he was only a driver's mate, so we should not blame him. Do you know that he has used your state's resources to settle his family and to pay a contasekai? Oh, I don't understand. Baumier's father-in-law is the ambassador to UAE. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, Samir's Mr. father. Mr. Ramadan. So he, he's using it to tear Akunta A. Oh, but as he has already for, man, 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 read the Yes, so as you can afford, the assume so must get. So he's oiling the... Yes, the as you must get. I hope the first wife's um, father also gets some. Oh, but Dr. Bab has only one wife. Uh, he has left Ramatu. I don't know. I thought he's but Muslim, so he can marry two. Beatrice. Oh, you know the speaker was the one who mentioned and yes. I owe Ramatu. But then I, I, I oh, didn't, no, no. I didn't get divorced, it. If they are then that's fine. Uh, then that one I will no, not I, talk about. I'm not it. saying they have, but, but I'm but, saying that. But why, why was it mentioned in the first place? We all know oh, Haji Samira Baumia. Yes, and what, what, what's, what's wrong if he has two wives? There is nothing wrong if he has two wives. He's a Muslim. He's entitled to four. So he has two wives? I'm not, uh, I know Ramatu, but if they have divorced, then that's okay. But Samira's brother, mm -hmm. Abu Ramadan, is right. the NADMO boss. No, he's a deputy director. Deputy general. director of NADMO. Director general. Mm -hmm. Of NADMO. Right. Whatever the title is, is at NADMO. Mm -hmm. Then Baumia's brother, technical advisor to Ministry of Finance, mm -hmm. one of the ministries. Right. Recently, all the procurement at the armed forces that son of man, Okujato, did an expose on. Mm. Baumia's brother, I've forgotten his, he's something, something Baumia. Right. So, so, everything. So, the man tells you that as head of the economic management team, I could not be given the opportunity to make the economy better. That I failed woefully because I was not given the opportunity. But some way, somehow, he had the opportunity to have I mean, appoints his families and in-laws into position, even as vice. Look at the number. When he becomes president, I'm sure other people will get, you know, um, 
Nanado has given the baby mama ambassadorial position. Which Virginia Hesse. Ah, Miss, Miss. Yes. So that is the Wh psychology. She she's, I think, um, what well, she's one of the ambassadors to whether I've forgotten the. Oh, country. she's an ambassador. Yes, Nanado. baby mama. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine, baby mamas, side chicks. And everybody, right, it tells you the psychology yeah. of the. I'm making this point. It's a serious point I'm making. Mm. That it tells you the psychology of the people who are leading us. It tells you that when they have the opportunity to mm. make a decision, mm. they don't think about you and I. What, what kind of a person is John Mahama? John Mahama, you see, the benefits we have in this election mm -hmm. is that John Mahama is not a new person. Mm where you will say that, oh, but how can we tell if John Mahama will not also exercise restraint? Right, but the opposition says the, the NDC is scary. The, opposition, the, the alternative is you scary. See, the alternative is scary to those who have stashed dollars under their bed. Because this time, mm. we are bringing what we call the operation Recover All Loot. Hey. People must carry cash mm -hmm. and refund to government. They must show their properties and it will be sold to defray the cost of corruption. Hey. Johnny, we've been in this country and corruption has been with us before. Mm. See, when the Auditor General reports come, annual irregularities, right. payment 700 irregularities, and something, procurement irregularities, procurement, some mm. you surcharge, you refund, mm. 700 and Disallow. something million, mm. and we say it is bad, and we spoke about it, and Occupy Ghana held appendages of MPP people spoke about it today. In one year, mm. irregularities, 12 billion, one year, 12 billion. Mm. We've never seen it before. That's in 21. You can criticize John Mahama for everything, but you did not see this reckless levels of corruption. These guys have been so empowered because of their corruption mm. that they believe they can buy anybody, including men of God. Mm. Conscience is no longer a guide. Even under Rollins, you did not see people clamoring for constitutional review. Because there were what we call fetish constitutionalism, right. that you have to exercise limits of government. Today, mm. it is no longer unconscionable mm. to appoint party card bearing members onto the Supreme Court, onto the High Court. It is no longer unconscionable mm. and frowned upon that party communicators will become commissioners at the EC. We don't have limitations and factors again. Are you disappointed, Nanado? To say I'm disappointed is, is because I cannot find the expression. Mm -hmm. Nanado epitomizes the word disappointment. Hey. He epitomizes, he's synonymous to who a leader should not be. Mm. Nanado is everything yeah. any no. leader should yeah. not be. Baumia is everything we should not be. See, Recently, mm -hmm. in fact, it was just yesterday that Joy FM fact checked Baumia about one, the free SHS, right. and two, in fact, it was fact the checked zero. Ghana. We just spoke with Kweku Asante Krobia, who said, that Yeah, no. fact check Ghana, fact check the free yeah, SHS, yeah. and Joy fact check the Ghana reaching the SDG. That's on right, zero. that's right, that's right. Hunger, you see, when you are a leader, mm -hmm. because you are not a party foot soldier or just an ordinary person, you must possess some qualities. One, honesty. Mm. Being candid. When I come on your show and I come and lie about everything, mm -hmm. the day you discover I'm a liar, you, you have every obligation not to trust me again. Mm. But Dr. Baumia consistently has been lying to the people. And you know, for someone who wants to be a president, mm -hmm. it should matter... I mean, it, it should matter what you say. Dr. Baumia can get to a place. Mm. He looks around. The people say they want river. He doesn't know whether he can be done or not. Then you say, oh, we'll build rivers. Don't worry. That's what you need. Uh, but how can you be Let me tell this? you. Mm. In 2016, when he was campaigning, mm -hmm. he was a deputy governor of Bank of Ghana. Right. He said he had master and PhD in economics. Right. So he understood economics than any of the people who were... In fact, as on Anado, on this one, you have to give it to him. He said he made a third class in economics when he went to school. So he's a bad student of economics. So he was bringing him as an economist to, to come and assist. Look at the statements he was making. 
that I have worked at the Bank of Ghana before. We don't need to borrow right. to construct the roads. Mm. And yet, under him, he has added more than 640 billion to the national debt. Is it someone you can trust? So you and, have today, to and today, and mm. today, he says that it is more responsible to borrow 640 billion mm. with nothing to show than to have a national debt of 120 billion. He says that in 2017 that he had attended a certain cabinet meeting and they had agreed that all roads subsequently will be concrete roads. Right. Right. I so it means that. that that cabinet meeting didn't he made that take place. In church. In church. Um, Lighthouse Chapel. Right. So integrity doesn't matter. And you know, Apart from the litany of things I can say, like there will be no community without toilet and water, water. problem, and, and in eight, all those bragging and things he said that he lied about. One crucial thing that I want listeners to reject Baumia on mm. is the issue of jobs. But he was not in charge, was he? Was he said he, he has created jobs. Yeah, two million jobs. Two point six million. Well, what is your problem? So let me show you. You see, if Baumia was any serious leader, mm. and they really mean well for this country, I think the NDC, we take governance very serious, maybe too serious. Mm. And he means well for this country. Eh? The National Security Reports, which they themselves have, mm -hmm. show that our greatest threat to stability is unemployment. Mm. Even the polls conducted by Fitch, EIU, mm -hmm. and everything is showing that unemployment is number one on the list for voters. Mm. So if you're a leader, that should be what will concern you. In fact, it is that research and data mm -hmm. that is driving two policies of the NDC. Which, which the 24-hour economy. Mm -hmm. But and they the say women's you can't, you can't even back. explain the 24-hour economy. Ah, but the man said the thing is happening. So the explanation is whatever is happening, that is it. But they say you can't explain No, but I'm telling you that he said that thing what, is happening. What is the 24-hour economy? I'll come there. I will explain. We are there now. Yes, I will come there. Mm. But I'm making a point that. Three so F if you have a national security F report on jobs, mm -hmm. it means that you should take jobs very seriously. That's correct. But Dr. Baumia is lying about the data on job. Let me prove it Another to 2. you. Another 2.6 million Let jobs. Let me prove it to you. Proof. In February 2021, mm -hmm. when the Minister of Employment, the man responsible for giving the data to Baumia on jobs, mm -hmm. went before Parliament, he said they had created 3 million jobs. Right. In 2022, mm -hmm. he then said that they had created 5.2 million jobs. Mm -hmm. In 2024, Baumia told us that they had created 2.2 million jobs. Then at the UPSA program, he said 2.1. Mm. In recent times, he has jumped to 2.6. Mm. When the technical advisor, Dr. Ghani, mm -hmm. on TV3 was asked, what is the source of this 2.6 million jobs? He said he doesn't know. <laughs> the Ministry of Finance, that is supposed to be paying the salaries if jobs have been created. Mm -hmm. The Ministry of Finance, that is supposed to have data on all economic issues in this country. Mm -hmm. They say that they cannot tell the source of the data. Right. He, Baumia himself, mm -hmm. cannot tell. None of the communicators have been able to tell. So you know what? They are just throwing out figures. Mm -hmm. Throwing out figures to people. So that will, so if you have created jobs, Johnny, mm -hmm. how is it that unemployment has moved from 8.4% to 14.7%? But people say they can't trust John Mahama because he, he had said earlier that he's a dead goat, a confirmed he's flying out of the country. Of Why all, should the country be handed over all, to John Mahama again? All, mm -hmm. your, your vote makes a difference. Okay. Do not listen to the MPP mm. who wants to paint John Mahama black mm. because they want to remain in power. Any reasonable minds know that a confirm cannot fly. Oh. A confirm is not a migratory bird. It cannot fly. Mm. It's like saying that um, chicken can fly from one place to the other. Mm -hmm. 
So know that that was the first lie, that the MPP hired their own people and their own journalists to be spewing against President Mahama. Mm. And you know, because President Mahama is not like Nanado, who will go and kill a journalist mm. or ask oh. people oh. 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 or... President Mahama did not create the enabling environment for journalists to be killed. Let me rephrase it that way. Mm. Because they criticized him. People spewed all sorts of, excuse me to say, nonsense about him. Mm. And one of this is the lie. No, in fact, Manasi Azuri, who did the story, has come out to say that that was a lie. It was never captured. And that point has to be made. You know, mm. when President Mahama said he was not a dead goat. In, mm -hmm. um, dead goat. Right. You know, the MPP, I think they have a comprehension problem. Ah. During elections, mm -hmm. people wanted President Mahama to print monies. In 2016, print money and like the MPP it. is printing and satisfy everybody mm. so that if Labour says that we need increment, BOG just prints money we've paid, and that is what the MPP has been doing mm. even from 2020. And so they've printed an excess of 77 billion CDs. Mm. The BOG has been running at a constant loss. The BOG is the only organization that keeps money, mm. they say they don't trade, but some ways somehow they make losses. <laughs> so President Mahama refused to do that and said that I don't want to push my people into a haircut mm. where I will just print money over borrow and because it's election year just satisfy them bring in populist policies mm. and after election you have to put i mean a moratorium on paying bondholders mm. he didn't want to do that have you seen the ndc and mpp uh, campaigns can you compare the two I can compare that to You've seen Jamal yes. to me and the rest. They are happy. We, they have we, all the artists. Everybody. I have been everywhere with President Mahama, except today that I'm not in the Western And, and what has been happening? You, we have been going to the people in the community. Mm. No single person is buzzed. When the community we hears President Mahama is coming here seven. on a Wednesday, on a Thursday, mm. they go there by themselves. You don't members, bass anybody. Where, where, we don't have that resource. Mm. We don't bass. What Are you suggesting that the MPP basses people? Yes. If, if you go to the north, it's called Susu campaign. Ah. You know Susu campaign. I know, I know Susu. But they I don't know bass Susu people from different locations. Okay. So if they are doing four constituencies in the day, they take the same crowd from... Tamale Central to, ah, to Tamale, Tamale North, North to Tamale South. So the buses are there. They take so to the North, when you go, they say Susu. Okay. So they say so from morning to evening you'll be in your bus. Are they paid? Yes, they are paid. In Volta Region, for instance, they gave them t-shirts and 500 cities. So when they come, they bus you the whole day. You go to North Dai, South Dai, you by and when day. they are done, Central, by, it's Tomo, by, South, day, Tomo. by day. So you, you see some of the videos on even TikTok. People say, oh, we are wearing the shirt, so Charlie, 500 is by day. But you job. don't bust people. Well, how would we bus people? And that is why it is very organic. And mm. that is why I'm very hopeful and optimistic. Mm. The Ghanaian people come 7 December will make the right decision. This women banking thing, mm -hmm. what is it about? We've heard it before. I'm, I'm very happy what, about it. What is, what is it? The Women's Development Bank uh -huh. is a special initiative calculated to empower only women. Mm. You know that normally when you go to the traditional banks to borrow, mm. they'll ask you for a collateral. They'll ask you for a collateral of either a house mm -hmm. or a car or something very valuable that if you fail to pay the debt, they'll fall on. And it's not just the collateral. Because of the bad management of this government, interest rates ranges between 35 to 40 percent. Mm. Johnny, what work would you do that you will get even a 40 percent profit mm -hmm. before you can pay the interest? And when you look at the informal sector from Makola to Ketia to Kotokraba to Takrade to um, Aflao and mm. all that, mm. women are those who control the informal sector. Right. So this is a research-based policy mm. calculated to reduce interest rates at the barest minimum for women and women-led businesses. Mm. So the business will either be owned by a woman or be led by a woman and you will qualify.
And the beautiful thing about this is that only women will work in the Women's Development Bank. Mm. Because I keep saying that when you are in labor mm. or you have a breast pain, no man can understand it except your fellow woman. Right. When you are menstruating mm. and you have cramps, mm -hmm. it is only your fellow woman F who can understand. So when it comes to the vicissitudes and the special challenges of women, mm. Women better appreciate the needs of their fellow woman than a man. And I watched your community manifesto on the right. sister station. Right. And one woman came and said something, which I didn't even think about. We are in Tema Central this morning. Yeah, she, yeah. she said that... It'd be bright. Oh, I mm, see. She mm. said that the reason I like the Women's Bank is that mm. I'm told only women will work there. Oh, okay. And when I go there and my fellow woman speaks to me in a way I don't like, I will speak back to her. <laughs> because as for the men, because they wear their coats and mm. things, when we get there, we are intimidated. Right. So it tells you that even at first instance, you are removing the barrier mm. of women not being able to walk into a financial institution mm -hmm. to assess facility. Because I never knew about this social barrier. What, what do you say to those who say that, look, John Mahama has only one term left. If he comes in, he will be reckless. You know, he doesn't have to come back to apologize, <laughs> that, that, to look you know, for a vote. You know, you know, America is described as the world leader. Right. And when you are a president of America, you are the president of the free world. Right. And not just America. Mm. And not just America, mm -hmm. but the world. Right. Donald Trump has only four years. Because I was in America at the time Donald and um, Biden had the first debate. Right. And everywhere you go, you realize that it was about the economy. And so if they compare the Trump economy mm. to the Biden economy, despite the excesses they had with Donald, it was about the bread and butter issue. What we have mm. is the economy. And if you compare a four CD to a dollar, mm -hmm. to a 17 CD to a dollar, it's about the economy. And President Mahama was president for four years, and that is the result. Mm -hmm. If you compare the rate of unemployment, if you compare the hospitals, mm -hmm. if you compare the fact that President Mahama developed this nation within four years, that at a point, the MPP mocked him as Commissioner General. If you remember 2016, I remember that. they were calling him Commissioner General. Mm -hmm. Why? Because every region he went, there were money. These were not district assembly projects. Mm. These were central banks. Mm. And, and Johnny, let me say that I've been to all 276 constituencies, mm -hmm. including Guan. For every community and constituency we have been to, I say this with pride, hitting, hitting my chest, mm. that from their electricity, mm. it was the doing of the NDC to their schools, to their hospitals or chips compound, mm. to the water they have, even if they were boreholes or small town water system. In fact, in one of the communities we went in the north, the chief said something, that if you take this, our community, and you take out the NDC, mm. we go F back to creation. Nine but the two MPP two says you seven. couldn't keep the power on. And Which industries collapse. On? Electricity the, drops the, off. You see, the MPP, they are not truthful. Do you recall mm. that when the MPP came to power, mm -hmm. one of the major things they kept saying and blaming President Mahama for was too much power, excess capacity. Right. But, if you but remember, there was, but there was doom so under which, you. Which doom oh, so? You have worked at IES, there was doom so. nobody mm. is running away. You see, that is the difference between President Mahama mm. and this government. When President Mahama realized that this was something that was happening from 1980-something, before mm. I was born, mm -hmm. he could have gone for the generators, the toy generators like Ufo did, mm. and just power, because elections were coming, be managing the thing. But he went to Parliament and said, I take full responsibility, mm. because if the people of Ghana are experiencing this under me, what did he do? He brought in a Mary, mm. car power, AXA, a ugly face too, and added in excess of 2,500 megawatts to our national generation capacity, mm -hmm. taking into account even population growth. He did not even just do that. Too. He left a revenue handle called the ESLA mm -hmm. so that we can solve the power, I mean, the issues of the financial management in the power sector. Mm -hmm. When the MPP came, they said, you know what? Even though you ended doing so, 
you have given us too much power and they came excess power excess power they have not been able to manage the energy sector because truthfully there is nobody in mpp if you take amin anta out who understands the energy sector but where is he he said when the judge but he see parts of government he he has been ostracized long ago which person understands energy dr opoku prepared didn't understand energy ah. I don't want to Napo, say Apu on, Napo on radio. Napo, our vice president, energy minister, he didn't Napo. understand. Napo, you people were exact. You know Ghana, when a man is tall and thick, mm. they assume he's intelligent. Oh. That is the problem. Otherwise, we must have, what did he do? Napo was the one who said that he was the even F going F to negotiate to additional take or pay mm. power plant. How mm. is it that an energy minister will tell us that we have excess capacity, but we want to add on plan today? Mm. The MPP is saying that the one who brought Ameri on a BOT basis, that mm. today Ameri has become the property of Ghana, mm. that person should not be celebrated. But the one who relocated Ameri mm -hmm. from the Western region to Ashanti region is the hero. But Dr. Babia says, look, all these things you have spoken about, Beatrice, in wrapping up, give me an opportunity when I come. I'll right the wrongs. We have given... I will bring a new lease of life and new things. Listen to the money. So let me let me tell you that Agrobeswa mm -hmm. Ifianapa. He was an economist. He was given a work as the head of the economic management team. Take the State of the Nations address of the president from 2017 to 2022. Mm -hmm. Every year. Mm -hmm. He would acknowledge Dr. Baumia as the head of the economic management team, mm -hmm. as the brain behind the economy. Mm -hmm. He cannot be running away from responsibility. But if you can imagine Napo as head of the economic management team in a meeting when he gets angry, he can just throw oh, the oh, water. Oh, they do. He will throw the water, boot everybody. Oh, ah, but no, Napo no, is no, the no. one who goes to campaign. He asks the question, he gets angry, then he drops the mics and walks away. Or you don't Which know campaign? Napo. Oh, you haven't seen that video? You Which can't campaign? even believe it. I haven't seen that video. I, I know. He's done that. I, I will find it. You can't even believe it. Napo is the energy minister that was told that we have doomed so. Mm. Can you help us with the timetable? and say, go and do your own timetable. As head of the economic management. What about the time you were forcing doom so on him? Ah, we were forcing doom so or we were experiencing doom so. Uh, were we forcing? He told us that go and do your own timetable. If they or it's not the same Napo. Let me ask you, in mm. all these, since mm. Papo became, give me one policy you've heard him say on the campaign. Apart from dancing to Sisyphia. No, he say eh, as well as that. Uh -huh, eh, as well as that. You know, N Napo, you know, Napo is like when you pray that may God not use your family to destroy you. That kind of prayer. Because... Oh, but for, Otufo said he trained him. You see, that's why o Otufo had to question him. Because my mother doesn't have to tell others that she trained me. By associating with me, they have to say that, hey, what do you have to do? I don't have to say, hey, what do you have to me? But he says the MPP is a party, MPP. A person who says his king is no king at all. A person who says I was raised well and speaks so loosely. I think that in our political discourse, no presidential candidates, whether as flag So you don't think that Napo is qualified to no, be vice president? No, he doesn't president? have the temperament and the emotional intelligence. Are you writing of the MPP in no, this no, election? No, no, no. As for Napo, he doesn't. You see, Dr. Balmia doesn't have the political will. The man who says, if he solves every problem today, what would he solve tomorrow when America is even solving problems? Should tell you his psychology. That when he comes, he cannot do most of the but things. He said he will cancel betting tax, e-levy, you know, all of those ones. You, you know, as for Dr. Balmia, on that note, he was received. But who? You know the consultants who were helping Ruto, mm -hmm. who made Ruto distance himself. The South African from, president. Yes. No, no, the Kenyan. The, right, the Kenyan, yes. yes. They were consulting for him. So mm. in the beginning, they told him, distance yourself from your president. So mm -hmm. for everything Anado has done bad, E. Levy and everything, he says, oh, I would, I, I would right, cancel right, it right. because that's the consultant. Now the other consultant is saying, no. You cannot distance yourself. You must use the Kamala strategy mm. because Kamala preached continuity and she lost. So now they don't know whether they should distance themselves or preach continuity. Finally, if I ask you what is Nanado's legacy, what would you say it is? The statute. 
the statue. Yeah, that's his legacy. At the Western yes, region. Yes, yes. That's, that's Nanado's legacy. Yes. You don't see free SHS. The you don't see one district, one factory, see, one village, one, one dam, plenty for food and jobs. That's, it, that's in those ones. He free also, dialysis. Mm. Nanado had the golden opportunity to leave that behind as a legacy. And he destroyed a very beautiful policy. Mm. And they want to blackmail everybody that don't talk about the excesses. Mm. When they even lie about the figures, don't talk about it. Because when you talk about it, it means that you don't like it. Mm. I want to tell Ghanaians mm. that give President John Muhammad the opportunity. And you will see how free SHS will be made better. You will see how in record times, e-blocks will be constructed in the existing schools mm. to abolish the double trade. The NDC has done some before. Mm. When President Kufo introduced the four-year term, in a space of six months, we mm. built classroom blocks in every secondary school mm. in Ghana. Mm. We will give the kids better meal. We will dialogue with their parents, and we will make sure that we are churning out the right product for the Ghanaian market. And so don't let anybody blackmail you into free messages. Mm. It does not solve the unemployment situation today. When we were going to school, we were paying, we were paying 400 cities and 600 cities as mm. school fees. Mm. Today, you need 4,000, 5,000 to let your ward go to school. When the general economic condition is bad, mm. what would be a social intervention will come back to haunt you. So give the political party that is promising you a better economic environment mm. and still make this policy better. When it comes to okay. education, in concluding, right. the NDC's legacy of get fund nobody has been able to beat it mm. the ndc eliminated 2035 schools under trees mm. when you check the unesco and the data we were spending the required budget or gdp ratio and, mm. and your education and president Mohammed's west even without the boarding school free shs mm. was better than nanado because you know why our lives should matter to politicians. Mm. And you and I hold the key to making sure that the MPP does not get 12 years in power. They have not shown what they have done in eight years mm. and certainly don't give them 12 years because the EIU has said that they took the NDC to win the 2024 election. Mm. But if the MPP wins, there will be a civil unrest. That is the EIU. Okay. Yes, I can share the report thank, thank with you. Thank you. No, we are not sharing anything. Thank you, Beatrice. And then the so we have a duty to resist and reject the MPP. You have only one vote. Yes, and all of us have one vote. Mm. And all the collection of those mm. is what will constitute the 18 million plus. Mm. So don't let anybody deceive you. Go out on 7 December and vote. When you vote, help everybody to preserve the will of the people because we are tired of the MPP. Okay. Beatrice Annan is deputy spokesperson for the Mahama campaign. Thank you very much. She has not drank the water we gave her. <laughs> Thank you for staying to Pen Dream TV. Really appreciate your time. May God bless you all for what you are doing for Pen Dream TV. Much appreciation from us. Thank you for staying tuned. If you are a new member and you have not yet subscribed, please do so because you can't afford to be mixing out on latest updates in politics. Please do subscribe as a new member. Send us your voice notes on anything you want us to publish. If you want your voice to be heard, Please do so on our WhatsApp number and our team will meet you squarely. Thank you. Uh, David Kama, I mean not friend Dream TV. Now, so far, so good. Say so open online portal, like what Ghana? Ah, you can share, you can follow, you can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I uh, have TV.